what criteria should you use if asked to list the top five sci-fi TV shows? I think I narrowed it down. What would you recommend to someone else to watch? Wow. That is, to me, the best metric for what you like. Wow. Is if you're willing to tell someone else to go watch it. It's not a guilty pleasure of yours. It's something you generally enjoy and think someone else will go watch. I would have had a lot to say, except that you just obliterated anything <laughs> else because that was perfect. I already know what I think your top three are. I so. wonder if you're right, one. And number two, depending on who goes first, you could like steal my number one thing. That's not fair. <laughs> so that's why I would go with the next generation. All right. Being top of the list. And I am almost absolutely certain that it's your number one. Wasn't even on my list. What? I'm lying. It was the number one. <laughs> it was the number one on my list. Should we split this? Should it be Humans of Futurama both taking up the fifth <laughs> slot? I guess so. I mean, that's kind of a coincidence. Whatever. I'm in charge of this voting system. I can do whatever I want. Both. That's it. So that was the end of our own personal top five sci-fi collaborative list. This is not a normal episode, as we mentioned in the beginning. To hear more of what we do that would be more uh, representative, pick any other episode, basically, where we do a movie every week and talk about the themes and ideas from that movie. The intersection of society, technology, and the future, and where that works out, where we could find the most to talk about. DecipherSciFi.com slash subscribe, where you can subscribe to the whole show and get all the episodes, all the normal episodes where we talk about movies.